Way rage. Aggressive drivers are losing their cool and people are losing their lives. News 7 warned you about the danger on local roads. Now we'll give you tips that could keep you out of trouble. Plus, they're middle-aged with no time and savings. Tonight, find out why they feel cheated by the broken promises of the American dream. Also, chaos at the control board. Police are called in when a protest turns ugly. We'll have the latest details coming up on News 7 at 6. You're looking at the first fresh fruit certified by the American Heart Association. Florida grapefruit and 100% pure Florida grapefruit juice. Including them as part of a balanced diet may help reduce the risk of heart disease. Enjoy the fresh, great taste of Florida grapefruit and grapefruit juice every day. Do it for your heart. Look for fresh Florida grapefruit at Shoppers Food Warehouse and Shoppers Club. Okay, ladies. What would it take to make a great one-day sale even better? Two days? It's Ames Big Two-Day Sale with a $5 bonus coupon with every $50 purchase. Friday and Saturday, 40% off all jeans, 30% off all shoes, boots, and sneakers, 50% off all Rubbermaid, 30% off all furniture. Friday and Saturday only at Ames. Why does the Home Depot carry so much stuff? Everybody has different tastes, different styles. I don't like this one, but I like that one. We got all kinds of stuff in the Home Depot. We have everything for everybody. Hundreds of carpets. Two by fours, we have them all over the place. Hundreds of drills. We have every style. Anything um, that your little heart desires. The Home Depot, where low prices are just the beginning. Clean your work area with ShopVac. ShopVacs are super quiet and come with lots of accessories. And they're the guaranteed low price every day at the Home Depot. Driving can be even more hazardous to your health, not because of the roads, but rather because of the people behind the wheel. We'll have the disturbing results of a new survey. And in the second part of his series, Brad Bell looks at some solutions to ease the anger among middle-class men who feel victimized by corporate downsizing. Good evening, I'm Kathleen Matthews. I'm Paul Berry. This is News 7 at 6 o'clock. Our top story, another black eye for the U.S. Armed Services. Three Army trainers are charged now with rape and sexual harassment. The trainers are based at the Aberdeen Proving Grounds near... Today was so... He was pulling back because it was hurting his... Joins us live from our newsroom with the details. Kathy? Kathleen Paul, of course, this case has sparked outrage. The Pentagon is calling for all Army personnel to undergo renewed sexual harassment training. And members on Capitol Hill are calling for the Army to move as quickly as possible to investigate and to prosecute. Now, this all started back in September with a complaint from one female recruit. Now we're told that as many as 30 female recruits were allegedly raped or molested during their training at Aberdeen. The Army is also now in the process of interviewing from 900 to 1,000 women who've been through the training course. And additional trainers are under investigation. But the reason we've got everybody sitting here today is because we want to tell you that we've got this problem and that we don't like it and it's unacceptable to us and we're uh, we're going to make this thing right. And of course, Rimmer goes on to say that he doesn't know exactly how the Army is going to make it right for the victims involved. The Army has released the names of those charged so far. We have them for you now. It says Sergeant Delmar Simpson is behind bars. He is charged with rape, sodomy, adultery and obstruction of justice. Captain Derek Robertson has also been charged with rape, adultery, and conduct unbecoming of an officer. And Staff Sergeant Nathaniel Beach has been charged with disobeying an order and obstruction of justice. By the way, conviction of rape in the Army is punishable by death. Of course, we'll have all the details and reaction for you tonight at 11. Back to you, Paul Kathleen. Thanks, Kathy. She'll have more, as she said, on the story tonight at 11. Now, the dangers you face every day on the roads. Well, they are on the rise, believe it or not. Aggressive drivers are now dominating the roads. A AAA study shows that aggressive driving cases jumped 51 percent between the years of 1991 and 1995. And if current trends hold, this could be a record year. Well, New 7's Madeline Woods joins us now live from the Beltway at I-95 with more on this troubling trend. And you're at a troubling spot there. Lots of, uh, of uh, traffic in that area. 
Yes, it is, Kathleen, but realistically, it, although it is rush hour, things are moving pretty smoothly along here right now. But a recent AAA transportation poll shows that more drivers here in Virginia are actually afraid of more aggressive drivers than drunk drivers. The reason being is because of the daily commuter traffic that comes through here. The heavy congestion causes traffic backups, which causes tempers to flare, and a lot of time people start to act out their impatience or anger on the Beltway by driving more recklessly. They start to tailgate. They start to speed. They start making aggressive lane changes. Now, one of the most recent uh, cases that ended deadly happened last April on the GW Parkway where two drivers started arguing. They started speeding, crashed head on into two other drivers. Those drivers were killed instantly. Now, one of the drivers that was speeding was also killed at that time. The one remaining speeding driver now faces up to 13 years in prison on charges of uh, two involuntary counts, uh, counts of involuntary manslaughter and one count of reckless driving. Now joining me now is Lon Anderson from the AAA. And Lon, tell me exactly who are these aggressive drivers? Well, what this study from the AAA Foundation shows is that they're really us. While the profile tends to be younger and male, anybody can really be an aggressive driver. All they have to do is get behind the wheel with an attitude and, uh, and be angry or be aggressive. That is tailgating, changing lanes aggressively and doing those kinds of things. Well, how do we protect ourselves out here? The important thing is not to engage aggressive drivers. If you see an aggressive driver, don't make a eye contact. You know, if they do something that really irritates you, you've got only a moment to decide whether you're going to ratchet that incident up and do something that could possibly be fatal or ratchet it down. Not step on the gas. Don't blow the horn. Certainly don't engage in any hand signals or anything of that nature. Thank you, Lon. And of course, those are words to live by. Back to you, Paul and Kathleen. Okay, thanks very much. Madeline Woods reporting live from the Beltway right there at I-95. That's right. Words to live by. Indeed they are. We know police have three people in custody tonight in connection with a string of armed robberies in Upper Northwest D.C. and Montgomery County. The break in the case came when district police recovered a stolen car witnesses say was used in the robberies. The black sedan may be linked to eight holdups where two men with shotguns demanded money and valuables from uh, pedestrians. We'll have more on that story as police release information. When the blizzard of 96 hit the district, snowplow performance was so bad that many streets waited two weeks to be cleared. Now Mayor Marion Barry is promising things will be better in 1996-97. He announced today that twice the number of city-run plows will be available during this snow season, and as many as 200 private contractors will be hired to handle snow when it gets deeper than six inches. The D.C. Financial Control Board is being sharply attacked today. This after news leaks that it planned to strip the school board of power and to replace school superintendent Franklin Smith. As News 7 Sam Ford tells us, the criticism is mainly focused on the control board's timing of its actions. At the door of the control board headquarters, a scuffle broke out between security and protesters who said they wanted to see the board. How do you make elections meaningless? On election day, appoint a military regent for the school board. They're talking about retired three-star general Julius Becton, whose name was leaked to the newspapers as the control board choice to replace D.C. school superintendent Franklin Smith. Also, the board leaked plans to strip the school board of power and make it an advisory group. At school board headquarters, past, present, and newly elected members accuse the Financial Control Board of lynching democracy. They have unilaterally decided that this Board of Education is going to be basically a, a ribbon-cutting uh, ceremonial institution. I can cut ribbons at home, <laughs> so I do not need to cut ribbons at the Board of Education. The control board did not return phone calls today, but one passers-by at today's demonstration spoke up for the control board. The school system is top-heavy. There is a lot of money going to administrators that are not doing their jobs. Later, there was a scuffle, and police came and formed a chain across the front of the entrance blocking the demonstrators. Many of them were candidates who'd run and lost in Tuesday's election. Eventually, the situation did relax, but the demonstrators say they will be here on a daily basis as long as the control board insists on taking the power from school board officials. In downtown Washington, I'm Sam Ford, News 7. Representative Tom Davis of Virginia, who heads the D.C. committee, and Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton say they want to meet with the control board before any action is announced by the, by the control board about the school board. 
Well, this just in, uh, Virginia Governor George Allen has commuted Joseph Payne's death sentence. That means he stays in prison, but he will not die as scheduled tonight at 9 o'clock. He was to die by lethal injection. Uh, Payne, of course, is accused of setting another prison inmate on fire while they both were in jail. It's an interesting move because it comes after an appeal to the uh, U.S. Supreme Court. The Supreme Court this afternoon refused uh, to do this, sending it back down to the state. They're feeling that if this was going to be done, it would be done by the governor. And indeed, Governor Allen, who's taken a hard line, however, in this case, because some at least four of the jurors who convicted him had written saying that they doubted that he was, in fact, the man. So the governor has reacted to that. We'll have more on that, of course, tonight at 11 o'clock. Well, meanwhile, they work hard, they do what's right, but after all is said and done, there seems no end or even hope in sight. They are a growing group of Americans dissatisfied with the hand that's been dealt them. As Brad Bell explains, they even have a nickname. First, they were yuppies. Then they got married and became dinks with their double incomes and no kids. Now they're becoming mantas, middle-aged with no time and savings. AU business prof Ralph Estes says it's a common theme these days. Oh, yeah. When I look around at my friends, by and large, uh, what I see is two characteristics. One is they really don't like their job. And the second characteristic is they don't have any retirement. They plan to have some, they hope to have some, they know they need to arrange it. They're getting along, the clock is running, but they don't really have it covered. Often that leaves us searching for answers we don't have. After all, we work hard, do what society says we're supposed to do. And now there seems no end in sight. Presbyterian Minister Sandra Thomas says she hears it from parishioners every day. People searching to fill a void. The American dream is going to be a ripoff because it promises a life that is perfect and wonderful and happy, and there's no such thing. Life is difficult. But some people who ought to know say it doesn't have to be all that bad that you can provide for the financial and emotional well-being of yourself and your family. But there is one rule you have to keep in mind, and that is nobody is going to do it for you. For some, the answer may be changing careers. But for others, judging by church statistics, more and more people are turning to faith of many denominations for answers. For those not so inclined, another fad may provide answers. That's the tendency to slow down, to take life easy, and not spend so much. Financial planner John Hill says it works. As Americans, uh, we have this terrible tendency to, uh, to want to spend and to want to do it now. I would love to see people take their time and do these things at a slower pace and save now. If they do, the growing crowd of mantis may find themselves with some spare time and savings after all. In Washington, Brad Bell, News 7. There's also hope uh, about American business. Some feel the next trend in corporate America will move away from what's been described as ruthless downsizing to companies that nurture employees as a way to boost their productivity. This certainly is the trend that you hear them talking about in management, uh, business school courses, and a lot of companies that do this kind of thing have great results with it. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to have some great results tomorrow and uh, Friday and Saturday of the weekend if you like cold weather, right? We sure are. Tomorrow <laughs> may be a little bit bumpy, though, uh, Paul. We'll get to the forecast here in just a little bit. We have some thunderstorms on the horizon. Our weather school question for tonight brought to you this hour by Circuit City Domino's Pizza. A possible sign that lightning may be about to strike is A, your hair stands on end, or B, there's a sudden calm or C, an electrical fire odor in the air. We'll let you take a guess on this one. We'll be back in just a second with the answer. Most customers think that Italian clothing is so expensive that it's beyond their affordability. Our Vito Ruffalo line, whether it's in dress suits, sport coats, slacks, or shoes, offers quality Italian fabrication with quality construction. Vito Ruffalo, Italian clothing at prices that men can afford. I guarantee it. Five Washington area stores. Call 1-800-776-SUIT. The promise of tomorrow. To put down roots. To be there for your kids. To watch your family grow. Owning a home means something different to everyone. But the dream always starts the same. For a free guide that can help you on the path to homeownership, call the Fannie Mae Foundation. We're showing America a new way home. 
Circuit City's Veterans Day weekend sale is going on now through Monday, and you'll find savings on the best top brands in every department. Now through Monday, you'll get a free color inkjet printer when you buy any computer with a 133 to 200 megahertz processor. Save on IBM, Compaq, Packer Bell, NEC, Sony, and Toshiba. And take home a free color inkjet printer when you buy any computer with a 133 to 200 megahertz processor. Save throughout the store at Circuit City's Veterans Day weekend sale now through Monday. They really lowered the prices. I couldn't believe the bill was so low this time. Everywhere you look on the menu, they had new low prices. Red Lobster's new low prices, like our $7.99 shrimp combo, freshly prepared sizzling scampi, plus beer battered shrimp so light and crunchy, with salad and Cheddar Bay biscuits, just $7.99. Can't beat the food, can't beat the price. It's all part of 15 dinners under $10 at Red Lobster now. When you go home, you say, I'm satisfied. Wow. If you're injured, call Science and Kirk's new free injury hotline number now at 1-800-LAWYERS. Because if you have a phone, you have a lawyer. Science and Kirk. I don't know about smelling lightning in the air, but I smell something good right now in our set. Well, I did, yeah, that's a great smelling cake there. Can you hold it up? Our, weather, it? our weather segment has quickly uh, become the, uh, the bakery hour wow, here on News 7. But uh, this comes to us from St. James Catholic School. They're out in Falls Church, uh, 830 West Broad Street, as a matter of fact. And uh, this weekend, uh, well, actually, uh, today through uh, Saturday, they're having a uh, bazaar out there and uh, all kinds of stuff, cakewalks, uh, all kinds of stuff for sale. So if you have a moment, you might want to get out there and support their cause, too. Yeah. Uh, Can we take great. this off your hands? That's, well, you know, that's such a good <laughs> for a way few to, moments. Uh, to support causes, and you get some great food and some exactly. great items out of it. That is that really pretty. Look at that. It smells delightful. Let's put a lot of chocolate oh, in that. Yeah, maybe. they got chocolate 65 in 65 degrees at National Airport. We have a great evening going on, although mm, we did pick up a few clouds. too, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, cut into it. Uh, our winds are from the south at 12. The barometer is falling, and the air quality this hour is in the good range. In fact, forecast to be there again tomorrow. 71 was the high today, our record of 77. So uh, looking at those two numbers, you can see that we're very close to one of the warmest days that we would have in Washington this time of year. Notice that up and down the eastern uh, seaboard this morning, the skies were relatively clear, but that has all changed with a very strong cold front that we've been advertising now here for a couple of days. Skies behind it are relatively clear. Temperatures are relatively low. In fact, just all out uh, cold. And it looks like this thing will be pushing in here, but slowing down. So we will not have too much rain tonight, although sprinkles are possible, but uh, by tomorrow when this thing moves in, showers, thunderstorms, heavy winds are likely during the day tomorrow. Let's take a look at the forecast in the meantime for this evening. Not a lot going on. Uh, thickening clouds, windy and mild, and maybe one or two stray showers here and there, kind of like we had very late last night. Lows between 58 and 65, so it will be a mild uh, evening for this time of year. Now tomorrow, uh, kind of a downhill day. Uh, showers and thunderstorms, windy, heavy rain, especially in the afternoon is possible. And we are talking about some possible localized urban flooding, 66 to 70 degrees. And then on Saturday, it starts to calm down a little bit, but the temperatures are very cold, uh, 45 to 50 degrees, the morning sun and clouds by afternoon. And then those conditions in and out all uh, during the weekend, a possible flurry. It's going to get so cold uh, for highs on Sunday. Uh, but then on uh, Monday through Thursday of next week, we expect temperatures to maybe to get back up to the 60 degree mark. So some cold weather on the way. Our school uh, weather school question for tonight, a possible sign that lightning may be about to strike. A, your hair stands on end. B, a sudden calm. Or C, an electrical fire odor. What do you think about that? A. I'll say A. A. Everybody says A. I think yeah. everybody says A. Good. Yeah. Thank your you. Hair, it's kind of like the uh, deal where you, in the wintertime when you rub a balloon on your uh, clothes and you put it up next to your hair and it sticks out. It's a static hmm. electricity only on a large scale. You got some balloons there you want to demonstrate for us there, Jeff? I have too much hair <laughs> spray on. <laughs> I like, Thanks very much. I really like C. I mean, I yeah. smell that hair. Yeah, but hmm. it, didn't, it wasn't the case. Well, All I right. see my hair stand on it. That would be doing That would be doing it, yes. You know there's a whole lot, a lot of lightning like around. That's happening. <laughs> Coming up, the scans hope a win is in the cards. Michael heats up the NBA early season and Weber grilled the Spurs last night. More on the San Antonio stroll up next in sports. Weber crashes the board to the reverse slam by Weber. Introducing Classico's new roasted peppers and onion pasta sauce. In the Italian hilltop village of Salerno, roasted peppers have been used in homemade pasta sauce for generations. Now new Classico de Salerno with oven roasted peppers, tender onions, and vine ripened tomatoes let you enjoy this authentic regional favorite for yourself. Discover Classico's new roasted peppers and onion pasta sauce and taste the difference authenticity makes. If we all settled for good enough, 
Would things ever be good enough? The luxurious Chrysler LHS. Now get a lease for just $3.59 a month. The Chrysler LHS. This goes way beyond good enough. My friends and I have lots of kids. And we love Kmart for kids' clothes. Prices are great. Oh, and the clothes are so cute. When one outgrows them, we pass them down. We use Tide to help them last longer. Lots of stains and lots of washes. Tide's unique cleaning system helps wash away many tough stains better than regular detergents and helps keep cottons from fuzzing or fading. To the kids, it's like getting new clothes all the time. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. At Kmart. This is Odonna Matthews, consumer advisor to Giant Food. Behind this cash? familiar voice is a real person. Someone who cares about nutrition. Saving you money. So we do provide the enterprise. And who cares about the quality of food you eat. Walk around, you can play us, right? Odonna listens to your suggestions and designs programs around your needs. Yes, Mrs. Davis, the suggestion you gave us in the comment card is a good one, and I'd like to see it. All right, here's Rennie Knott with the sports. The opposition set up perfectly for what the Bullets had strength-wise last night. David Robinson wasn't in San Antonio's lineup, so Chris Webber made the lane his domain. CW dominated under the hoop last night, a career-high 21 rebounds to go along with 22 points. Fans in a good mood at the arena. This young lady has been watching too many Michael Jordan highlights. You see she's sticking out her tongue. Watch Weber flex the paint here. He fights through three spurs, rebounds, and then jams. Washington didn't have a great shooting night, just 40% from the field. Tracy Murray with the air ball here, but Weber is there for a cleanup duty. You know, it's hard to stop a guy when he's only two feet from the hoop. The spurs can't box Weber out, and he makes them play again. 96-98 bullets in the final. Michael Jordan with the high-flying acting gear last night. He takes flight for the alley-oop against Miami. Later, the Bulls turn six points in a matter of seconds. Scotty Pippen hits nothing but net from above the arch. And then before Miami can get it going the other way, Jordan steals it, fakes, and hits again. Jordan in the zone on Wednesday. Watch the move he makes here. He drops it with his back to the hoop. I just can't describe it. Check out the reaction. Jordan scored 50 points. Chicago wins it 106-100. A boost for the Redskins' ailing defensive line. Mark Boutte and Sterling Palmer are back. Each will start against the Cardinals this Sunday. Injuries kept them out of the last four games. Sunday's game appears to be a mismatch on paper. The Cardinals had the 26th ranked offense in the league and managed only eight points in a loss to the Giants. But bear in mind, Arizona has won five of the last six against Washington, so the Skins take nothing for granted. He's got the receiver, Lewis. I think the worst thing we could ever do is concern ourselves with the games after this game. Uh, because uh, if we lose this game, it's, it's worse tomorrow after that. So, no, right now, and we've said it all along, it's one game at a time, one team at a time. And when you are a team with our recent history and a team who have lost the way we lost the other day, how dare you look beyond anybody? Still ahead, the AL names its manager of the year. Plus, we'll serve up our high school athlete of the week. Sports hits the hard courts when we come back. Everybody loves a wedding, but what about this or this? Same-sex marriage. How long will the kiss be? Joy, tears, controversy. See how everybody feels on Turning Point tonight on ABC. You're not with AT&T, are you? No, I'm not. So, are you happy? Not really. I was happier with AT&T. Well, we're making it simple to come back. How'd you like to get 100 free minutes just for switching to AT&T? That, that would be wonderful. That's a real gift. Well, there's a lot more. Introducing the new AT&T One Rate Plan. Just 15 cents a minute on calls from home to anybody, anytime, anywhere in America. That's great. It's, it's a flat rate. Anytime, anybody, anywhere. I'm going to presume there's going to be a charge involved. No, it's free. It's even better. No fees, no minimum spending, no time requirements, no restrictions, no games. You can't beat that. Call 1-800-PICK-ATT. 
you'll get one low rate plus 100 free minutes for switching to AT&T. So what do you think? I think the 100 free minutes is awesome. <laughs> the one rate plan is excellent. And there's no restrictions, no limits. So what are you going to do? Pick up the phone and switch to AT&T. One rate, 100 minutes. Call 1-800-PICK-ATT to switch. Sears Home Life asks, when is a sale more than a sale? When you can get the furniture you want for a lot less than you thought, of course. Like during Sears Card Extra Savings Days at Home Life. With your Sears Card, everything is on sale. So take an extra 10% off all sale prices and 10% off regular prices, too. Sears Card Extra Savings Days, only at your Home Life Furniture Store. Great furniture for a lot less than you bargained for. From canceled checks to classified documents. If you think your personal property is safe at the dump, think again. The I-Team's Dell Walters reveals how easy it is for anyone to get the goods in the garbage. Dumpster diving. Friday on News 7 Tonight's WJLA Washington Post High School Athlete of the Week report is brought to you by Toyota. Yankee skipper Joe Torre, the AL Manager of the Year, uh, but the award is not all his. We have co-winners for the first time in 14 years. Rangers manager Johnny Oates receives a share of the award. Each picked up 89 votes at the balloting. Torre led New York to the World Series title this year, while Texas won the AL West under Oates. Early success at tennis is not uncommon. We've seen teenagers make millions on the pro circuit. Our prep athlete of the week may be cashing in one day. She's already on the verge of national recognition. Today we honor Sabrina Uwe. Holy Cross's Sabrina Uwe beat the big girls to win her first WCAC tennis title. Just a freshman, Sabrina finished 11-1 this season, and she's already qualified for age group nationals later this month in St. Louis. I like being an aggressive player. It's fun. I don't know. It's just kind of get a lot of emotions out, and it's fun. <laughs> Sabrina's also a member of the school's photography club, and her coach says he's got all the shots. She's just fun on the court and, um, you know, goes for things and uh, uh, has a good time when she's out there. Sabrina plays a power game, just like her idol, Steffi Groff. I don't compare myself to her, but I look to her as my idol because she's really calm and confident, and I like the way she plays. Congratulations to Sabrina Uwe, our High School Athlete of the Week. Advice from Monica Sellis and Steffi Groff. Watch out, she's coming. She's so effortless with that, with that uh, racket. Seems like a mess. Yeah, she's good. Thank you. And Jeff Gilbert and the 7 to 11 forecast when we come back. Who doesn't want to make the world a little safer? Safer schools, safer homes, even safer cars. The new Camry features dual airbags and a reinforced passenger cabin. We're making the world a safer place, one new Camry at a time. The new Camry, smarter, more confident, better than ever. Team defense combines strength, speed, and photo concentration every play. The Electric Avenue combines great brands and great prices so you win every day. Mike, it's all on sale during our five-star Veterans Day celebration. All top brand name electronics and appliances are at incredible prices. And we'll even deliver your new Whirlpool Maytag and GE appliances for free. Plus, ask for zero interest for a year with monthly payments when you use your Montgomery Ward credit card. You can't beat a great defense, and you can't beat Electric Avenue. This is a scary sound, but this can be a scarier sound. It might be just a small transmission problem or one that'll take a big bite out of your wallet. To tame your worries, Amco centers have expert technicians with state-of-the-art diagnostic tools. Fact is, half the cars serviced by Amco centers don't need a new transmission. Bring your car to Amco. It can be a jungle in there. Amco, double A, MCO. It's the huge holiday sale at Bill's Carpet Warehouse. Get 35 to 65% off everything. You'll save lots of cash. Now through Monday only. 
Circuit City's Veterans Day weekend sale is going on now through Monday, and you'll find savings on the best top brands in every department. Now through Monday, all big screen TVs are on sale. All hi-fi stereo VCRs are on sale, too. And all Sony car audio, portable audio, and phones are on sale. Plus, you'll pay no interest for 12 months on all big screen TVs and on all digital satellite systems. Save throughout the store at Circuit City's Veterans Day weekend sale now through Monday. Weather from 7 to 11? Not looking too bad, but bring Actually, your umbrella tomorrow. Actually, it also flies from 6.30 to 11, <laughs> we're well, told. to be technical. <laughs> but see, we, we work at Channel 7, so we can't call it the 6.30 to 11 forecast. <laughs> Thickening clouds, mild temperatures, temps in the 60s, but tonight we have that gusty southerly wind at about 20 miles per hour. So uh, there you have the Rennie, the 6.30 <laughs> to 11 o'clock forecast. Rennie's been bugging me for, for days on why I call it that. He wanted a separate one from 6.30 to 7. Well, I go outside from 6.30 to 7. That's what I wanted to know. That's, That's it for News 7 at 6. ABC's World News Tonight is up next. Well, thank you for joining us. We'll even let Rennie come back at 11 o'clock. Hope you'll join us then. Captioning brought to you by Circuit City.